Look at this guy. Look at all that glaze on there. It just makes it so much easier to apply it to the surface of the piece. Hi everyone, my name is Daisy. Welcome back to our channel, The King and the Flower. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about glazing. And we're gonna talk specifically about brush on glazes. And I personally like to use Amico glazes. So this video can apply to any kind of brush on glaze that you have, but these are the ones that I'm gonna use. Let me show you the entire process of brushing on glaze. I'm gonna start by preparing the bisquare. I wipe the surface clean with a damp sponge, removing the dust and debris from the exterior and interior of the mug. This will allow the glaze to stick better to the surface. Be careful to not use too much water during this process. Before you start glazing, always check that the lid is tightly closed and then give it a good shake. Open it up. And my favorite kind of brush to use is called a hockey brush. A friend of mine introduced me to, the, to these and I rarely ever use anything else. Uh, these hold glaze very well and are perfect for applying generous coats of it. I hold the mug from the inside with my hand like this and then I will use the hockey brush to apply a generous coat of glaze. If the surface has a lot of texture like this one, it might take a little bit more time to coat it inside every nook and cranny. As you finish in one area, rotate the mug until you've coated the entire piece. After I finish glazing the handle, I'm going to set down my piece and allow the outside to dry. While I'm waiting, I'm going to coat the inside of the mug. When I'm finished, I will let the glaze dry completely and then apply the glaze twice more for a total of three coats. In the end, I always wipe the bottom of my pots clean so that they don't stick to the kiln shelf. Use a damp sponge to gently remove any glaze that's on the bottom of the pot. I also wipe a small amount of glaze from the side of the mug so that the glaze has room to drip down as the clay and glaze melt and fuse together. This is especially important when working with glazes that are known to run and also when layering two or more different glazes. Later on, I am going to show you this piece once it comes out of the kiln and it will be completely coated in glaze, really beautiful, and it's gonna get transformed. Now, Celadon does look a little similar to the color that's gonna come out of the kiln. That is not always the case. This one right here, Blue Routil, check it out. It is red when it comes in to the kiln. And then when it comes out, bam, there it is. Bam. Or this guy right here. Look at this guy. He's, uh, this one is like a burgundy color. And then it goes into the kiln and bam, there's purple. Smoky Merlot. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can see more ceramics related content and here's a playlist so you can check out more beginner ceramics related videos and until next time you guys take care